In this video, we are going to learn how to use the find and find all methods from Beautiful Soup. The find method allows us to search for a specific tag inside our soup object. And just using find by itself works very similarly to, to navigating into my soup parse tree. So for example, here I have a, an HTML, simple HTML file. And let's say I converted this into a soup object. And if I were to call uh, type soup.div, what, what, what I'm going to do is return the first div tag from my soup object. So if I look at this HTML, I'm going to go down and find the first div tag. And this is the tag that's going to be returned. Well, the dot find method from my soup object allows me to pass in a string that has the name of a tag. And this will also return the first instance of this matching tag from my soup object. Now I can call the find method from my entire soup object, or I can call the find method from a specific tag in my soup. So for example, if I said a p, I would return the first p inside that div tag. So I can call the find from any tag uh, object. What the find method gives us, uh, in addition to just navigating into the parse tree, is the find method allows us to pass in a key value pair that I can also uh, search for and match on. And the syntax to do this is, first we're going to pass in a string value that has the name of a tag. And then we are going to pass in a dictionary as our second attribute. And this dictionary allows us to pass a string attribute name and a string value name. And we will try to match this tag on this attribute value pair. So for example, if I were to say soup.find a div tag, comma, the second value I'm passing in is a dictionary containing a class footer key value pair. So if I were to look at my, my, um, my HTML file here, I would say, well, here's a div tag. I have a class attribute, but a content value. That, sh that doesn't mask match class footer. My second div tag does have a class attribute and a footer value. And so this soup.find method would return the second div tag. So the find method allows us to more surgically search our, our um, parsable HTML tree and find uh, tags that are a little more embedded. Now we also have a find all method. The find all method works just like the find method except it returns all matching tags. In fact it returns a list structure containing all matching tags. So for example if I were to say soup.findall div tags, well because this HTML has two div tags, here's one, here's two, this find all method is going to return a list containing both of those div tags. If I were to say soup.findall p tags, well, notice here we have one, two, three, four p tags. This is going to return a list containing each of the p tags. And the soup.findall h1, well, we only have one h1 value here. Even though there's only one tag, this find all method will still return a list in the and the only element in the list will be an h1 tag. So the find all method always returns a list data structure. Now the find all method also allows us to, to match on key value pairs. So if I were to say find all divs where the uh, class attribute equals the value content, this would return a list containing one tag, this, this div tag. So find all also lets us search on key value pairs. Let's talk about iterating through the results once we use the find all method. If as long as we understand that the find all method is returning a list of tags, we can then extract specific elements, specific tags from the list, or we could loop through the entire list uh, as a group. So for example, if I were to say soup.findall div tags, this, this is going to return a list containing all the div tags in my soup. And I've created a variable called divs 
to just store the results. So divs should hold a list of div tags. Because divs is a list, divs at index 0, we can access the first tag in the list or we could say divs at negative index negative 1 we could access the last tag or let's say you knew that you need the you needed the fourth div tag in your page you could say divs at index 3 so we we have the ability to to find exactly the tag we want based on index another thing we could do is because divs is a lit a list i could use the for in syntax to loop through each individual tag in the set. So if I were to say for div in divs, where divs plural is the list of div tags, and div is just a variable I, I am naming to hold each individual tag one at a time, then what I could do is inside this loop I could process each div tag. Maybe I could search for a specific text value or a specific attribute value. I could do further processing this way. There are some special notes when we are matching on attributes. Um, first, first special note is that I can pass a dictionary as my second parameter or my second argument into this find or find all method. I can match on two, or I, I should say, we can match on multiple key value pairs. So for example, here I have three div tags, and we notice that two of these div tags has a class first key value pair. And we see uh, two of these tags have an ID other key value pair. If I just wanted to find this third tag, I could say, okay, find a div tag where the class is first, so there's two matching, and where the ID is other. So in this case, because I'm specifying two key value pairs I'm matching on, this would return exactly the tag I'm looking for. The second special note on matching on attributes is to understand that the class attribute in your HTML file is considered a special attribute. The values listed after a class attribute, or I should say the values attached to the class attribute, are considered a list of individual values, not just one value itself. And so what happens is when we only when we are dealing with the class attribute, I can search for only one of several words inside the value. Let me see if I can explain this and, and make it make sense. Here I have a, a div with a class key attribute value, and the value contains two words. The first word is first, the second word is primary. Well, I could say find a div tag where the class is equal to first. And this would work. This would return this div tag because the class attribute considers each word in the value to be a, its own class. Okay, so I could also say find.div where class is equal to primary. And this would also work because we are searching for, uh, because the class attribute is a special attribute and I, can, I only need to search for one word of the class. Now this doesn't work for other attributes. So here I have an ID attribute that has a value, a string value, that contains two words. But if I were to say find div tag where the ID is equal to data, this will not return at this tag. Okay? Because for all a, any attribute that's not a class, the string value should be considered one value. So if I would have to say find div tags where ID is equal to the string data values, the full string, this would work. So be aware that when you're searching for classes and if the class value contains multiple words, each of those words is kind of an individual class value. All right, let's do a couple examples together. All right, what I have done here is I've created a little teeny HTML chunk of code that contains three div classes, and each div class, or uh, three div tags, and each tag has several key value pairs, and we'll, we will just play around with the find and find all methods. So first let me import beautiful soup. Let me import the uh, HTML string, and let's convert that HTML string into a soup object. 
And what I have here is just a, a markdown cell that shows me the organization of this string. So I have three divs. Each div contains an un unsorted list with two list items. First one has the two list items A, B. The second has two list items 1, 2. Third div class or div tag has the list items 101, 102. Let's look at the find method. So I'm going to say soup.find. First, let's find the, a div class. So if you re recall, when we use the find method, we're going to return the first instance of the tag that matches the search criteria. So the first div tag I find is the class first tag. All right. If I say find uh, the unsorted list, the first unsorted list I find is right here. It contains the lot list items A and B. All right. And if I were to try to find the li tag, it's returning the first li tag that it found. All right. Now let's try to search on a, a, a key value pair. So I'm going to say let's search for divs, but I'm going to pass a second per, uh, argument into this method, and I want to find where the class is equal to the value second. We run this. Now look, we are going to find the first div tag where we have a class second key value pair. So I have returned the second div tag. Now let's look at this. I'm going to say find a div tag where ID is equal to numbers. Now I have two div tags with ID numbers, but the find method is going to return the first tag that it finds that matches on this criteria, which is the class second tag. Okay. Now finally, I'm going to say find the div tag where uh, class is equal to end. Now if you notice, this class has a value third space end, but the class is a special attribute where each of these words uh, is considered its own value for the class. So I can find a div tag where class is equal to end, and it returned that third div tag. Now this won't work if I, uh, if I try this on, for example, an ID tag with multiple words. If I were to say find an ID tag where the value is equal to sum, this returns nothing because the ID here is the full string sum letters. Let's fix that. There we go. So we, we can match on a tag containing has, that has a value uh, with multiple words in it. But the class is a special attribute. All right. Let's look at the find all method. So let's try some of these. soup.findall. Uh, first, let's find all div tags. The find all method returns a list. Notice the, the, the square brackets here. A list containing all three of these div tags. Let's find all ul tags. Well, there are three ul tags in this soup, so it's returned a list that has the first ul tag, comma, the second ul tag, comma, the third ul tag. Let's find our li tags. Well, there are one, two, three, four, five, six li tags in this soup, and notice we have a list containing six elements. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's do some find all uh, with matching. So I'm going to say find all div tags where the i where the id attribute equals the value numbers. And let's make sure I put all my syntax here. So if we look at our, our soup, we see we have two div tags that have an id numbers key value pair. And I've returned a list containing two tags, the second and the third, where the id is equal to numbers. So the find and find all method allow us to really, if, if a web page is built well and has very well, uh, very good, very, very labeled um, tag elements, it makes the web scraping uh, a, a bit easier because we can, we can surgically go into the page and find exactly the tag I'm looking for and try to extract values from it. 
Now, before we go, let's let's I want to do some iterating over results here. So, for example, if I were to say soup dot find all li tags, this returns a list containing all li tags. So, if I wanted to save the result, maybe I would call these create a variable called li tags and assign it equal to soup dot find all. And now, what I can do is I can say, well, if I wanted the the value in the third li tag, I could say, well, this is index zero one two when I'm searching through my li tags. So if I set li tags at index two, this is going to return the third tag from this, the set return from the find all method. Okay. What I could also do is I can loop through these tags. I could say for uh, li tag in my li tags plural, let's print each li tag. And what I'm doing is I'm iterating over all six of those returned tags, and I can now process the results. So for example, what if I only wanted the text value in each one? I could say li tag dot text. And now I'm printing just the text values uh, for each tag in the result. All right, I hope this gives you some idea on how to use the find and find all method in Beautiful Soup.